this series will be covering challenges which do not require a video in themselves and more than just giving general tips and tricks to help you achieve those challenges which take time to do such as you getting your 300 frag grenade kills now the gameplay in the back here is started in the second round but so I've skipped it forward a bit just so that you don't have to watch the first round but I'm just to show you I'm actually doing pretty all right it's just a random game that going in the background where I'm just playing for the sake of playing it's just something for you to watch while I'm talking now the first tip I want to talk about doubling up challenges this is one of those general tips which can be very useful for most people to, and it could be easily overlooked by a lot of people but what I mean by doubling up challenges is say you've completed all the challenge all the headshots for your assault rifle and you've got the challenge where you are to run no attachments well if you're not running any attachments this gives you a perfect opportunity to run multiple perks and get the perk combination challenges done you can run wild card and have two, uh, awareness and dead silence from perk three and you can work towards earning the challenge for having a wild card at the same time as completing the challenge for complete having these two perks on at the same time which does, is one of the perk challenges uh, these sort of challenges are what you need to be looking out for because you can rack up a little, quite a nice combination doing this and you can do six or seven uh, five or six challenges at the same time and it can make getting a lot of challenges done easier because these sort of challenges are just get 50 kills while using these two perks and as such if you're doing it while you've got to get 50 kills with no attachments and you've got all these extra pick slot points which you will do at this point it's a perfect time for you to be doing this particular challenge on the other hand there's other tips and tricks that can help you when doing challenges don't be afraid to, don't be afraid about your KD and score per minute sometimes when you're doing a challenge these will take a hit it's unavoidable they they're going to take a hit because of what you're doing you have to be willing to lose it occasionally lose some points or go slightly negative maybe even lose the game in reward turn for you achieving a challenge this is something you have to be willing to do and shouldn't be something to be afraid of so except this it'll happen occasionally and just roll with it Another tip you can do is simply. Guardian, ready for deployment. Oh, this is. Oh, I'm on a roll here. It's pretty good footage, and I've lost my train of thought for a second. I've not scripted this, I probably should have, but it's really good footage, and I'm gonna pretty much rock it. So, other trips and tricks you can do Rolling while thunder, challenges. You can. Like I said, you can double up, and don't be afraid to take a hit on your score. Try new things. If there's a particular challenge you're after doing and you're not sure how to, you can't find a tip for it, try something different. Just because you don't know, because there's no tip for it online, doesn't mean you can't try something new to achieve that challenge. I myself did just that for the double kills with C4 on this particular game mode. It occurred to me that it might work, so I tried it, and it did. So bear this in mind when doing challenges. Try something new. Don't be afraid to try something new. It can work very well in your favour. And it can work out well. Sometimes this is the best way to achieve a challenge. And the same thing, game mode is very important when doing challenges. If you go for a particular game mode, you're likely to achieve a challenge easier if you do it in one particular game mode over another. So be aware of this when doing challenges. You can knock up some pretty, all, pretty awesome challenges by just taking that little bit of change of pace and trying it in something new. Hardcore as well. This is a game mode which is massively overlooked by a lot of people because they dislike hardcore. But hardcore can change a lot of challenges and make them easier. Change how difficult they are for you to obtain. One good example of this is headshots. A lot of people might avoid it. They avoid hardcore because they don't like it. But headshots in hardcore 
they were ridiculously easy. So don't be afraid to try things like hardcore. You can achieve a lot of challenges in hardcore that you cannot achieve as easily in core. So be af don't be afraid to try different game modes, hardcore and core game modes. Because just because one, of don't stick yourself into team deathmatch and expect to complete every challenge in team deathmatch because you can't. Some challenges are just going to be impossible to do in that. Oh, obviously other than game mode challenges, which you have to play other game modes for, but there are plenty of other challenges which, if you try to do them in Team Deathmatch, you're going to struggle or almost never achieve. So, what else can you do? There's... It's these sort of tips that I'm going to be looking at over, the, over this series. And just basically giving you suggestions and tips and tricks to perform these particular challenges a little bit easier. I mean, one of the future ones I'm going to be looking at will be explosives. I'll be covering all the different explosives so, and game modes that you can effectively use these explosives in in order to achieve the challenges for completing the 300 kills. I'll also be looking at headshots. I will be going into depth, probably covering each weapon class so that you've got an idea for the weapon classes over everything else rather than just going that this is how you achieve a headshot yada 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 I'm gonna go right for sort of rifles this is how you achieve a headshot for shotguns you achieve headshots easier with these methods and cover things like that I'll travel the internet and I'll gather all the information up to give you the best information I can for you the tips that I can for hide. all these sort of tricks so I want you to bear that in mind while you continue to watch me absolutely rocking this game I probably one of my best games I've had in a little while and it's probably the first time that the, the challenge I was doing was simply getting C4 kills I'm trying for 300 of them and it's a pretty effective method for it so while I was doing that I was simply rocking the game and I'm really doing an outstanding job so I'll let you continue watching this for a couple more minutes because Oh, I'm not sure how long I've been recording, but it's 10 minutes. I've re I set the record time for 10 minutes, so you should be getting 10 minutes of footage. So just sit back, enjoy the best parts already over where uh, my uh, ruthless medal. But uh, Good job, CDP. enjoy the again and let's go home. quick win of the next round if it there is enough time for it. Anyway, take care, good luck, and have fun.